tech issues will not stop us today. We are back in to PUBG Mobile. And we're on the way with our first map. It's a wrangle and we are ready to get roaring. Yeah, jumping it straight into the action. We do have Soul, Soul Mortal looting up. He's got a few guns in his backpack. He's got a level 2 helmet as well. And there we go. This is what we want to see here, John. We do have the minimap up there. The flight path is all the way from the bottom of Military Island South, all the way up the middle of the map towards north. And we can see Team India. We spoke about this earlier. They're likely they're a smack in the center of the map, right next to school, if I'm not very much mistaken here. And they would be the one team everyone would be looking to avoid at the moment. There we go, Team India towards military base. We see Trance running around on the rooftop looking to find some of the tasty loot. His teammates all around him as well. And we can see Ronak, he's on top. He can actually take the shot here. He spots out a player. He's not gonna give his he's not gonna give it away. He's playing the smart. Like we mentioned earlier, John, if you're the favorites here, you don't want to give any information to your opponents. No, certainly not. Would be oh, very, very difficult for Frost. Oh, ready to go. He's gonna go for the shot. Gonna land it. Already gets the knockdown onto Frost. The brawlers, they are taking some early casualties. The crowd loves it, and that's gonna be Frost down. You see his teammates coming in to try and rest him, but it's all alone. And it is gonna be Iconic, who has made his way pretty close by Frost, staying alive here. The question is, where are the rest of the Soul players? I can't see anyone here in the vicinity, but Ronak, he's in such a great spot. He has got the Overwatch. He is pretty isolated from the rest of his team. They're just a little bit southeast for the moment, but with the control of the high ground, with the control of the hill, they can just rotate in if he needs the help. And he's all alone. You can see Doc and Iconic may obviously know where he is, and it looks like Doc will be able to, re to res Frost. You still don't see any player from Seoul uh, backing, up his t uh, backing up the teammate. So what this says to me at the moment is that so they know they've done the damage. They've already got a knock onto one of the top players in the tournament. Remember Frost, 33 kills in the semi-finals. And he is now, yeah, so he's now managed to get up. He will get healed through. But that moment, Rip Official are going to have to move down at some point away from this coastline as well on these rotations. But we are coming closer to the ever-present phase five. Absolute bloodbaths about to ensue. Mm, I love that. Do you? Uh, I do. Yeah, I'm a little metal that way. Anyway, we do have, I believe, he's been knocked out. And the car yeah. hasn't exploded. I do believe it exploded. And the shot's being dealt out by Daljitski. Not able to quite land it though. But, oh, he's out. He's out for the count. He has been kissed good night. And Ninja up the open. He's been knocked out as well. This is looking so tough. Bang in the middle. And no one can really push up to them. Team India, they're going for the spray down. Dog under fire at the moment. Kratos only able to get a little bit of damage. Not going to be able to get it done for now. But the rest of the team's there to back. Things are going to get very uncomfortable for Insidious and Pain. Here they come have the nades. Here comes the barrage. It's in. It's deadly. Are they going to be able to find anything? Not quite. Able to land one through the window, but the vehicle will go down. And that's going to leave Pain in a really tricky spot. Indeed, the boat trap inside. They don't know what to do here. In the meantime, they this all over the back here. Here it comes Insidious pushing in. They're pushing in. And pain, one man down, just one player left inside. Hitman, he's got all the pressure on him. He's right through the door. trying to get lucky here. And he's trying to get taken down. And there you have it. Pain getting knocked out. Do they have a lot? I've seen quite a number of ore players getting knocked down, but they will survive it now. Soul comes into play. Viper is just decimating down. everyone. Immortal's out. He's, he's down. He's smoked himself off, though. He can't get res by his teammates. Yeah, he's going to move to this next rock as well. That's going to get them. Oh, oh, Ted. Ted, you gotta run, Ted. Scout, black shot shot in the smoke, and Ted somehow still alive. I don't know how, but he is. Barely, though, and he's getting sprayed in through the smoke. He's still somehow still alive, though. But time is not his friend. The circle is definitely shrinking. I have to go for it. Actually, Spike, I think he managed to find oh. his way out. Mortal's dead, by the way. Mortal's out. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. So, oh. because remaining, and Viper! Oh. 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 That's just complete decimation. And that's the thing with this team, you might have your star player out, but everyone else are more than capable of holding their own. From the grass, the fight by strikes. Takes down the enemy team, will be able to hold for now. They still have 11 teams to go. Right. Gets spotted out, long player for Evil Team fellas. Oh, trying to snake his way in. He's gonna get shot down. Oh, he's gone. And we're in the Evil Big fellas. Great control of transfer. Just, but the circle is shrinking, and this is getting very, very rough for everyone here. Everybody needs to start to condense now. We've only seen a, a shrink down to 10 squads, which means that this is a very, very dense final stage of this circle. Face side of the map. So they'll be looking to take control without the eight. Towards the Hydra, hits the deck and Kratos takes the punishment. Kratos might be the god of war here, but this is rough. And oh yeah. no, god kill! They take it down, but the trades are good. Somehow, 
They're still in contention here, but Team India, they're making things very rough for Hydra indeed. Team India out of gone. nowhere. They might be gone here. I think Hydra are... Like, kill status rather. Brawlers, Rip Official, Lord from Past, Team Whoa, Soul, Soul with nine kills. Jesus Christ, and Indian ties in seven. That is absolutely huge. If Soul were able to clinch this one out, they might be into an absolutely cracking start and to the India final. And but the has shifted away from them. Nate out. And oh. Lord from goes down. LFP adapt to the zone, but Insidious are going to try and spike out sideways, but Bird gets eliminated. What is going on? Tiger is just somehow still clinging on here. That's Team RIP. There's going to have remaining, I don't know, and it looks dead. Oh dear. Oh no. Out in the oh, open. Dear. And Soul! They continue to have dominance over the northern side of the map. Insidious are losing players, though. They've all seen Magic making sure it's on to his teammate as Sunday oh, Soul oh. takes out cartoons and INS. Insidious have two players remaining alive and all of a sudden Soul are looking so good here. Soul have so many kills, they have so much pressure as well. Viper's down, but the Tigers cannot push onto his location just yet. Cartoons going down means that Smokey, the last remaining player for Insidious. And Soul, they are getting hunted up by the Tigers. Tigers in the grass, burning bright, wrapping up shots. Not quite able to find anyone though. And we can see Tigers, they have to go in for this. The circle is shrinking. They need to take the fight against Soul. And here they come wrapping in. Oh, Viper! He's been knocked down. How many players remain alive for Soul's aggression? He He's going for the push. Carry. Looking to go around that wide. Viper trying to turn out. Oh! Gets in this one for him. I can fast. And he gets taken down as well. So what's going on? What is going on? Everyone's Ruda. back. He's going up. He's taking Carry down. He's holding up for Soul. And they remain in the game. That is insane from Ronick. He's going to rest his team as well. Siam though, is he going to go for the fight here? Is a question. He can push it right now, but if he delays it any more longer, Soul's going to have another player up. And it's going to be Siam who's pushing it. He's going for the spray. He finds one, but two more players are barely alive. It's all in Siam for Tigers. In the meantime, there's the Indian Tigers coming in. Soul under pressure, but Oase and Ronak are there. They have pressure. It's two versus two, but atop the hill, we have the Lone Ranger from the Brawlers. Five players left alive. Five players, and it's one guy floating around, not taking any fights. That is Mr. That's from Brawlers. Frost. 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 And he's been playing this perfectly so far. He's staying out of it. In Don't City fight, just win. That's all you need to do. At this stage, everybody's got huge numbers of points on, but at the moment, Seoul, they have so many frags. I'd love to see how many exactly they have, because it's got to be a huge number by Double now. Double digits, double digits, for sure. Here we go, the Tiger Sayup. He wants to get that kill. Is he going to be pushing in? He's edging around. Circle shrinking, making life rough for everyone here. Is going to be going for this? The question. They're both just waiting, waiting for someone to make a move. Who's going to blink first? This next circle is very, very kind of Frost as well. They're going to have to go up the hill. There we go. The crowd chanting for Ronan. What's he going to do though? He's sneaking up in the smoke. Can he edge away? Can he make his way around Tiger's field of vision? Is the question. But Sire, he has his crosshair trained in a ways. He's ensuring no one escapes here without taking any damage. The thing here for Soul is they're getting pushed. They're not getting pushed by the circle. The Tigers are. Oh, Frost is still in the mix. He's just atop the hill. He doesn't need to go for the fight. This is super smart. The Tigers, they're getting pressured by the blue. They know that they have to breach the ridge. And when they do, Soul can strike. Well, look at Prince's positioning. He has the right angle. The second Soul steps up, stands up to take a fight. They're going to get taken down. And Frost, look at the circle on him. He's got the perfect position. He just doesn't need to show himself. And Frost can pretty much win this all by his lonesome. He doesn't have to participate in this fight. Soul and Tigers can take care of each other for him. Third party, he comes up, he pops up, Frost goes for the knock, takes Cyan down, now it's just Prince, but he's in the blue, he's taking damage, Frost, you need to move forwards! Oh no. the deck! He's right there! Oh he's no, 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 the ball is taken down. down, it's the fray, it's the fight, Prince is laid down, it's one versus one, Runak trying to take the fight with Prince, Prince pops up, Runak goes for the spray, and the Tigers take it on! Would you believe it, Tigers, amongst everyone else, they managed to clutch it out, well played by Frost to come in third there, but my word, Tigers, what a well played game. That is incredible. They lost so many players early on and Frost bided his time, but at the moment, Soul, they went huge. Huge numbers of kills, a second place.